Hello guys and welcome to DTW uh, DTWGD prep welcome. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, today we're going to be learning about how to use the GED calculator for powers and roots. Okay, there's a playlist. I've already done how to use a GED cal calculator for fractions. So I'll be adding this to a playlist and I'll leave the link to the playlist in the video description box of this video. It's very necessary for you to know how to use the GED calculator because it helps with speed and accuracy during during your test. So if you don't have one, uh, please, you can also support me uh, by getting um, your GED calculator through my Amazon aff affiliate link. Uh, I'm also going to leave the affiliate link in the video description box of this video so you get your GED calculator. Okay. So uh, it's very important you practice with it. Okay. And so and we have one here that we're going to be using. This is the GED calculator. Okay, and this is how it's also going to appear on your test. In fact, I'm, I think I'm going to do a video on how to find your calculator during your test. Okay, so so we're going to be using this to calculate this for um, these questions under powers and roots. And please, please, if it's your first time, please support us by subscribing to our YouTube channel. You know, support us to grow. And also, you can check our website for summary notes. We have summary notes, study guides, practice questions, free ones for your maths, summary notes for science and social studies on our website there, dtwgdprep.com. And you can also join our Facebook group. We're over 8,000 members now in the community. You know, just to support any questions you have about your state, be it Michigan, in Texas, Alabama, Florida, about or New York about your test. Any problems you're having, the community would support you, you know, to um, make sure you get your GED this year. All right, so um, let's get on to the video now by using the calculator to solve these questions here. All right, so the first one says find the value of, this is uh, for powers. When you have an exponent two, when you have a power, how do you do this? perform this on your calculator. So we come here, we, um, um, you know, the number is what, 13. So you first put the number 13. Then you come here, this cap, this arrow upwards, this is what you click. Okay, you punch here. Okay, it appears this that way. Then what is the exponent, the power that you are raising by? It is what, two. You can see this and you press enter. And it gives you your answer of what? 169. So 13 squared is what? 169. All right. So let's get 5 cubed. All right. So let's clear this. Sorry, clear. Always, each time you um, finish solving a question to the next question, always make sure you uh, press the button clear. Please do that. If not, the previous work you've done, um, you, you're still going to add up and continue working on that and it will give you a wrong answer. So always, for a new exercise, a new question, please always punch the button clear. So for five, we go again, five, this button, this cap up here, cap, then three, the power of three, then enter. Okay, so that's 125. So 5 cubed is what? 125. Now let's try to look for our next question says, find um, the square root of 29.95.32 and round to the nearest 100. Okay, so we're going to be doing two things here. Finding the square root and rounding to the nearest 100. And remember, when you're told to find square root, it means you're told to do, do this. The square root of 28 the square root of 95. And what square root uh, simply means is finding the square root of a, num of a particular number. It simply means look for that particular one number that you can multiply twice that would give you 28. Okay, now there are some perfect squares like the square root of 16 is a perfect square uh, where the square root of 16 is 4. If you multiply 4 twice, you would get 16. So this is a perfect square, but 28, all these numbers are not perfect squares. So we're not going to get a perfect number. We're going to have decimal numbers. All right. If you have any questions, I will drop your comments uh, below. All right. And uh, also, if you have any other uh, problems with maths, you find difficult um, in dealing with, you can also uh, drop, drop um, you know, the topic below. And 
I forgot to mention, I also do one-on-one -on -one math tutoring. If you're interested, you can also contact me. I'll leave my email in the video description box of this video. Okay, so that's square root. So square root is different from finding the square. Are you getting me? Find, if, I, if, for instance, the question says find the square of 28, it means 28 raised to the power of 2. But this is find the square root, so we're finding the square root, okay? So I'm going to show you how you find the square root with your GED calculator. So we go here, we first press, this is the square root function here. You can see the symbol, okay, uh, the symbol, uh, the operation symbol here. You can see it's um, colored in, um, this is green, light green or lemon, okay? So for us to activate this function, we have to first um, press the second function button. So we do second function. We come down here, okay? This is where the square root button is. It's on top of this button x square. So we come down here and press this and you see it there. Then you type, you punch in your number 28. Then you press enter. Now, when you press enter, you can see it's giving us our answers, our answer in um, irrational number form. So for you to get your decimal number form, you come to this button and you toggle it and it gives you your, uh, the number in the decimal um, system form. So our answer for the square root of 28 is 5.2915. Remember, the question says round to the nearest 100. So let's try to round this. So for 28, it says 5.2915. I think we can stop here. To the nearest 100, what's the 100 value after the decimal point? This is the 10th value. This is the 100 value. Immediately after the 100 value, what is the next number? 1. So you ask yourself, is 1 greater than 5 or equal to 5, it is not greater than 5 or it's not equal to 5. So we can't round up a 1 to add to this 9. So our final answer will be 5.29. Can you see that? That's our final answer. So let's go on to the next question, which is what? The square root of what? 95. All right. So first thing we do is what we clear all right second function this is a square root nine five enter okay it gives us this toggle it gives us what nine point seven what four so let's write this write this so nine point seven four six seven nine we can stop here Okay, this is the 100 value. Immediately after the 100 value, is this number greater than 5? Yes, it is greater than 5. So we can approximate what? A 1. So we add a 1 to 4 and it becomes 5. So our answer, rounding up, is what? 9.75. And you see that? Let's do the final one. The square root of what? 32. So we come. Clear. Second function, remember square root 32, okay, and enter. It gives us a rational number. We toggle to get our decimal, okay, decimal number system. So that would give us, let me go back to my pen so I can write here. So that would give us 5.65685. So let's round up to the nearest 100. Immediately after the decimal point, this is the tenth value, this is the hundredth value. After the hundredth value, yes, is this number greater than five or equal to five? It's greater than five. Six is greater than five, so it means we can approximate a one. So we add one to five. So our final answer rounding up to the nearest hundred is 5.66. Can you see that? So that's how we do square roots. Now let's look for how to find our cube roots. Okay, so we clear. Now for cube root, remember cube root is when we have something like this. This is 27. The cube root, sorry, I can I please, I have to erase this. Let me erase all this. 
So I have some space here to write. Cube root is when we have this cube root of 27. Okay, we have a three outside here. That's it's um, the cube root. Okay, this is how we symbolize cube root. Okay, so we're looking for the cube root of 27 and also the cube root of 729. So now let's find the cube root of 27. Okay, so we've cleared as a calculator. So we do what we first uh, punch three, then come here, second function. Then you can see this sign here. It says X. Remember, uh, the, the symbol for uh, cube root is what? We have a square root, then we have a 3 on, on top of it. You can see that's the way the symbol looks like here. It's different from just your ordinary square root here. So we punch this, okay, to activate it. You can see it has become this like this. Then we punch uh, 27 and enter. You can see the cube root of 27 is equal to 3. Okay, so now let's find the cube root of 7 to 9. So we have to clear, clear our screen. So we press 3 first and uh, punch the button 3. Second function, activate the cube root sign, then 7 to 9. Okay, and enter. The cube root of 7 to 9 is what? 9. Okay. So this is how we find, uh, use our GD calculator to calculate for powers and also for roots. Okay, for the powers, it can be up to 5 raised to the power 10. It's still the same method you follow. All right. And for square roots, we've done that. For also your cube roots, this is what we've just done. So this is how you use your GD calculator for powers and roots. Thank you for staying tuned to the end of this video. Kindly please subscribe and share this channel with your family, friends, and loved ones preparing for their GED. And also don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Give your life to Christ for he's the way, he's the truth, and he's the life. He's the one who's going to lead us to heaven at last. He's the one who's going to give us fulfillment in life and a purpose to life. And lead us to heaven at last, which is most important because there's life after death. And he's the one who's offering us and who is going to give us eternal life. He said he has gone to prepare a place for us in heaven. And I believe he's doing so and he wants us there. So, and all you need to, to be a partaker of this is just to acknowledge him as your personal Lord and Savior and live a holy and righteous life according to his word. All right. Thank you and see you soon in our next video. Bye.